Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 2, Week 1 Milk Base Let's learn about Differentiating Prime from Composite Numbers Lesson 2 At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Differentiate Prime from Composite Numbers Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about Differentiating Prime from Composite Numbers In the previous lesson, you have learned that there are numbers that can be expressed in two or more factors like 6 when numbers has two more factors and can be divided by exactly, it is a composite numbers. For example, 6 is composite numbers because it is a product of 2 times 3 in which both numbers are smaller than 6. However, those numbers with only two factors, 1 and the number itself, is called prime numbers. These numbers cannot be divided exactly. For example, 7 is prime number because the only way to express it as a product of two numbers is 7 times 1. Both prime and composite numbers are important lesson for you to understand the prime factorization. Study the example. Each number is expressed as a product of two or more factors. Find out which of the numbers is prime and composite numbers. Let's study about prime numbers. The factors of 3 is 1 times 3. You will notice that 3 has only two factors, 1 and 3 only. 3 can be divided exactly by itself and 1. Therefore, 3 is an example of prime numbers. Let's learn about composite numbers. The factors of 9 are 3 times 3 and 1 times 9. In this example, you will notice that 9 have more than 2 factors. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. 9 can be divided by exactly. Therefore, 9 is an example of composite numbers. Observe the numbers in the table. Look directly to the numbers with colors. These numbers with colors are examples of prime numbers. They are counting numbers that are greater than 1 with only two factors, 1 and itself. Those numbers without colors are example of composite numbers. These are the numbers greater than 1 with more than two factors. Now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Identify whether the following is a prime or a composite number. Number 1, 23. Is it prime or composite number? Look at the table. Very good! 23 is a prime number. Number 2, 25. Is it prime or composite number? Very good! 25 is composite number. Number 3, 15. Is it prime or composite? Very good! It is composite. Number 4, 34. Is it prime or composite? Very good! It is composite. Number 5, 43. Is it prime or composite? Very good! 43 is prime number. Number 6, 47. Is it prime or composite? Very good! It is prime. 
Number 7. 53. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is prime. Number 8. 58. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is composite. Number 9. 67. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is prime. Number 10. 71. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is prime. Number 11. 65. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is composite. Number 12. 79. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is prime. Number 13. 92. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is composite. Number 14. 83. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is prime. And number 15, 74. Is it prime or composite? Very good. It is composite number. And now let's move to learning task 2. Select the prime numbers inside the box. What are the prime numbers inside the box? Very good. The prime numbers are 41, 19, 59, and 43. And now, let's move to learning task 3. Read and answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the largest two-digit composite numbers divisible by 46? The clue is... Do skip counting by 46 to get the answer. Skip counting by 46. 46, 92, 138, and so on. So the largest two-digit composite number divisible by 46 is 92. So the correct answer is 92. Number 2. What is the prime number immediately after 50? Look at the table. After 50, the prime number is 53. So the correct answer is 53. Number 3. What is the sum of all prime numbers between 30 to 60? Look at the table. The numbers between 30 to 60 are this. And now look at those numbers with colors or the prime numbers. So the prime numbers are... 31 plus 37 plus 41 plus 43 plus 47 plus 53 plus 59 equals the total is 311. Number 4. What is the sum of all prime numbers between 70 to 80? Look at the table. The numbers between 70 to 80 are this. Let's add the prime numbers. 71 plus 73 plus 79 equals, the total is 223. Number 5. What is the product of prime numbers immediately before and after 50? 47. 53. And then multiply 47 and 53. 47 times 53 equals, the product is 2,491. Number 6. How many prime numbers can be found between 60 to 100? Look at the table. The numbers that can be found between 60 to 100 are this. And now let's count those prime numbers. 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So therefore, the correct answer is 8. 
Learning Task 4 Solve the following Number 1 Sum of all prime numbers which is less than 20 Look at the table Here are the prime numbers which is less than 20 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 plus 13 plus 17 plus 19 equals The total is 77 Number 2 Sum of all the prime numbers between 50 to 70 Look at the table The numbers between 50 to 70 are this The prime numbers are 53 plus 59 plus 61 plus 67 equals The total is 240 Number 3 Sum of all the prime numbers that is greater than 70 but less than 80 Look at the table Greater than 70 but less than 80 are this And now, let's add the prime numbers The prime numbers are 71 plus 73 plus 79 equals The total is 223 Number 4 Product of prime numbers from 80 to 90 Look at the table Numbers from 80 to 90 are this The prime numbers are 83 and 89 Multiply them 83 times 89 equals The product is 7,387 Number 5 What is the sum of x plus y plus z If 13 x 19 y 29 z is ascending order of prime numbers Look at the table 13 is a prime number Next to 13 is 17 Which is the value of x And then next is 19 Next to 19 is 23 Which is the value of y Next to 23 is 29 And next to 29 is 31 which is the value of z And then add x plus y plus z Add 17 plus 23 plus 31 equals The total is 71 Number 1 is neither a prime nor a composite number 1 is a special number Prime numbers are numbers that cannot be divided exactly and has two factors only while composite numbers can be divided exactly It has more two factors Remember When numbers has two more factors and can be divided by exactly It is a composite numbers However, those numbers with only two factors One and the number itself Is called prime numbers Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!